Hi guys, I'm Bart of Bart's Fish Tales and today I'm in Alaska at the border of this beautiful Yukon River visiting the amazing Yupik fishing community. What do they do? They maybe catch the most delicious salmon in the world. Wild, natural, sustainable. We're going to barbecue a whole salmon, serve you a spicy herb salsa, grilled veggies and a potato salad. This salmon is around two, two and a half kilos. So this would be a recipe for approximately six persons. Yukon Kita salmon. It's wild, it's natural, it's sustainable, and it's one of the most oily fish in the world. The reason why is because this is the Yukon River and this is the longest salmon river in the world. So what they do, they throw out the drift nets. These nets are about 35 meters long and they're going to wait. This is such a great way of fishing because it's really small scale, you see, uh, mother and daughter or you see father and son or a full family small nets not loads of fish so every fish is treated very carefully very well it's beautiful beautiful we have cleaned it we have descaled it but you can ask your fishmonger to do it for you i use two sheets of tin foil and have the salmon on top the first step is score your fish every five centimeters of one centimeter deep and repeat the other side too. We just add a bit of flavor because the flavor of the fish itself is already so good. A few lemon slices into the belly. Three slices and I slice this a bit finer. Got a beautiful fennel. So I slice it thinly into the belly. Right here. So I have also these beautiful fennel tops here. Two orange peels bit of parsley, dill, dill and salmon go really well together, salt, pepper, and pepper on top, bit of olive oil into the belly, another tablespoon, there we go, flip it and repeat it at the other side, salt, pepper. So now we fold the tin foil around the salmon. Okay, so we have it on high heat on the barbecue. And I give it 10 minutes, maybe 12 on each side. And actually the same cooking technique applies if you would have it in the oven. Have it on 180 degrees or 350 Fahrenheit for around 25, 30 minutes and you'll have a perfect cooked salmon. Okay, so the salmon has been cooked now for eight, 10 minutes. And I turn the package around. And now it's time for the spicy herb salsa. For the spicy salsa, I chop one clove of garlic, half a chili without seeds. Mix with some capers, half a teaspoon of mustard, a splash of red wine vinegar. The juice of half a lemon, four tablespoons of olive oil, a handful of fresh mint, fresh basil, and flat leaf parsley. Season with some salt and pepper. Perfect. It's fresh, a bit creamy, will go perfect with the salmon. For the potato salad, I peel, cut and boil 600 grams of potato. Cool them down and add capers, spring onions, some rocket and the zest and juice of half a lemon. Dress with salt and pepper and a glug of good olive oil. I serve the salmon with some thin slices of grilled zucchini and eggplant. Grill them for two minutes each side and dress with some salt and pepper and red wine vinegar. So now the salmon have been cooked for 10 minutes each side. Look at this, it's beautiful. And actually, if you press with your finger right here and it comes loose from the bone, the salmon is ready. And this is perfectly cooked. Okay, so I de-skin the salmon like this with a spoon. So using my spoon, I take it off the bone bit of the potato salad, a bit of the grilled veggies here, and a bit of the salsa. It's time for a taste. Mmm, this oily flavor of the fish coming out of this Yukon River. It's so good, and it goes really well with the potato and with the grilled veggies. So I hope you like this recipe out of my book. And if you want to win the book, we give away five books. Um, leave the reason why you want to win this book in the comment box down below, and we will pick the five winners. If you want to see more delicious seafood recipes, head over to my channel, Bart's Fishtails, 
where I travel around the world to fish, cook and live together with the most amazing sustainable fishing communities. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.